Good evening, everyone. I'm meteorologist Justin Stapleton. Still looking at some strong to severe thunderstorms moving southward. We're still under a severe thunderstorm warning through 645, and that mainly is for southern Harris County moving in towards northern Galveston County. The majority of this heavy rain, lightning, and even some P to dime. We've had reports of marble sized hail down towards NRG in the rodeo. That is all heading southeast, and so likely going to be crawling its way down 288, 35, and of course, down the Gulf Freeway. So keep in mind, this is uh, likely going to be on the side for the next couple of hours there, especially as you center across the University of Houston, uh, southward down where 610 meets up with 288 and all across the southern end of the tollway there on the Sam Houston tollway. That's where we're seeing some of the heaviest rain push on through some lightning from West U all the way over towards the medical center as well. So not the best for uh, folks that are trying to get home out there this evening. Uh, hail size in some of these cores. Now again, this is not necessarily what is falling, but what the potential that it could is hail size upwards of about uh, 1.7, 1.9 inches. Two inch hail is about golf ball size. So that'll put anywhere from dime to marble size hail. Let's put it into motion and widen out on the bigger snapshot here. You see that line extending all the way over towards Lake Charles, Beaumont as well. Report of funnel cloud there. We've got severe thunderstorm watches up near Shreveport and Texarkana and then off to the west as well. Really getting hammered with some severe thunderstorms. But note that in between that, there's not much. A couple of light showers that have been developing. But for the most part, we've had a pretty good lid stuck on the atmosphere here. So we'll continue to watch it throughout the rest of the evening. But still, hail. Lightning, heavy rain likely going to be our biggest threats as we head in towards the next couple of hours. Now, meanwhile, as we head in towards later on tonight, we have a cold front approaching from the northwest. That'll keep the threat for some isolated thunderstorms triggering through about midnight tonight, where we see, could see a couple more stronger ones flare through. But look back off to the south and west. That's where we'll see an area of low pressure kind of right along this wave. And that is going to bring a heavy rain and possibly some pretty good flooding potential out down towards Corpus Christi. Now, the majority of this all stays south of us, but we could by about 4 or 5 o'clock see some of that creep its way in towards Matagorda, also Palacios, and then maybe sneaking in towards sections of Brazoria County and Galveston County early tomorrow morning. The majority of the rest of us, though, north of I-10, should be done with the rain. And then as we get in through the afternoon hours, we start to see the clouds clear. And everything changes from there. A much cooler, much breezier forecast as we get in towards portions of our weekend. So we'll go 66 for the high tomorrow, which will likely be where we'll probably sit close to that at midnight. And then temperatures kind of falling throughout the day. 46 early Sunday morning, a beautiful looking kickoff to spring, but it will certainly be a little cool in the morning, especially Monday morning as well as we'll be in the low 40s. Then 68 and sunny, a perfect day, probably not much humidity either. And then we start to uh, turn the spigot back on as we'll bring the temperatures up, humidity up as well. Another strong system moves here on Thursday, bringing a chance for some stronger thunderstorms. And then Friday, Saturday, and Easter Sunday. Right now, it looks like things will clear out rather nicely as we head in towards the holiday weekend. Make sure you follow us on Facebook and Twitter. We'll keep you updated to the minute as these storm systems continue to roll through downtown and sections of the southern Houston metro area. And updates right here at clicktohouston.com.